just hop into this. <laughs> nah. <laughs> really? Well, I'm going to eat. Mm-hmm. Back on the window. I'm going to eat. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah, 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 oh, yeah. Mm-hmm, 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 You're ugly now, you're ugly. So we're going to an estate sale. In Jersey. Look, I show them this. That's how this is. See how it, like, separates? You guys know I like shoes, right? Look at this. Here's my boy from Philly. All right, so 215 Shooter, he's the man. I'm going sh- to show him this video. But look at this awesome it's drawing like that I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be done soon. I promise. I'll make an Instagram this. page of my artwork and everybody can buy my shit. No, I'm going to frame this and keep it. Alright, let's go into this thrift village. Okay. That's not bad. Like, in condition wise. Loose toy. 25 cents each. Was a Star Wars thing. Jar Jar. Alright, do you want to come back to this? Or you yeah. Just... I'll oh, play wait, though. A... I don't know. This is definitely like a McDonald's toy. Oh, yeah, Yoda. Okay, yeah, let's go. Okay. Is that a dog? Oh my god, what's happening here? <laughs> All toys over here. Oh, I like toys. Yeah. This is sick. Oh, it's a build a bear. Oh, that's cool. With like the little Jordans on them. No. But it's still cool. Yeah. Look at this guy. The Flash. Who is this? It has a Nike check on it. I don't know what that would be. Was Golf it? balls. Was it? Golf balls? Mm. Oh. Yep. Uh oh, really? That's cool. Oh, you're right. The shape of it is like a little. Is that a wetsuit? Wetsuit, yeah. yeah. That's a cool. Is that lacrosse? Mm, hockey? That's hockey, I think. What is that? You can that on your. What's that called? A grom? That's right, baby. The gromsicle. Cheers. Oh my god, look. My boy. Oh my god, that's so weird. Is that a dollar? I'm getting that if it's a dollar. What are the odds? Oh, wait, here's a whole bunch. Oh, oh shit, it's that open. one's open. 1996. So we saw these in the estate sale today. These are cool. Are these legit a dollar? Because I'm going to buy them. Yeah. Is that what that says? Yeah. Yeah, one. Yeah, but what's this then? Three. That was like probably the original price. I don't know who this is. Dante. I don't know who this guy is either. Scott Cooper. Boston Red Sox. Who's this? Dodgers? I don't know who this guy's from. The Yankees? A dartboard? Hideki? Hideki or Irabu? Irubu? It's cool, these are Kenner. So Kenner made all the old Star Wars from the 80s and the oh, 70s. Oh, really? Yeah, so Kenner is a cool brand. I think I'm gonna get this just because it's a dollar and it's cool. Yeah. It's from the 1996. Still sealed. OG packaging. 
Scott Cooper Boston Red Sox. Do I get this one too? Even though they're like the boxes are kind of. They're only a dollar. Wait, is this one a dollar or? They two? all have to be a dollar. They wouldn't be different prices. That one looks like two. No, that's one. That's a one. These are all one. Yeah. Wow. I'm about to just buy them all. This is it. What's this one down here? Oh yeah, Jeff Conine. So I might get all these. This one's kind of beat up and it's open, so I'm not going to get this one. What is this? Gift set? Where is the price at? It's a flashlight. It's so Let's go around in there. Oh my god. This is 100% getting copped. Oh my god. This is flames. That's cool. I've seen this before. This is a, this is a, Olympics. Wow. And this is so getting bought. Oh my god, that is so fire. And it's, in, it's not in the best shape, but it's flames. 1996 Olympic. Alright guys, so it's a couple days later after this. So we went to an estate sale. It wasn't anything special. I couldn't really film in there. There were some toys that I wanted to get, but they, were, they wanted a lot of money for them. So I kind of... Bail in the estate sale, me and uh, the girl I was with, we went to a like a thrift shop that was near her house. I've never like been to this area before and I found some killer stuff. So the first thing I'm going to show you is this jacket over here. So this is a vintage 90s <clears throat> Apex Flyers like starter type of jacket. Uh, it's in really good shape. The only thing it's missing is like the hood, if you guys can see it has a zipper going around. So there was no hood. Um, and it's this is Apex. This is like a vintage uh, brand. And when you take the zipper down, you can see the tag inside. National Hockey League by Apex One, um, and then Apex on the collar. So this <clears throat> this thing is sick. It's like size large, 100% from the 90s. Super vintage. I actually saw one on eBay sell for $130, which I can't believe. That's a lot. Um, but that one was also missing the hood as well. So maybe if I can clean this up a little bit, since just a tad, like a little bit of marks, but nothing really too bad. There's no like tearing, no loose stitching anywhere. But I got this thing for thirty dollars. They wanted fifty at the thrift shop, which is a lot for a jacket. Uh, but then I offered them thirty bucks, and they took it, which I was surprised. So. <clears throat> Even though 30 bucks is even still kind of high, like, I wish I would have paid, like, 20 or less, but, honestly, this jacket's super fire, size large, and it's vintage, and it's, like, fire, it's Philly stuff, so, I think it's really cool, I'm definitely, I put it on eBay, I listed it for, the other one sold for 130 I listed this one for, like, 115 I just want to see if I'm going to get any bites on it, if not, uh, whatever, I'm just going to, maybe take offers or see what happens but so that was the first thing I got or actually kind of like the last thing I got in this video you guys saw earlier that I picked up <clears throat> this awesome vintage 1996 Atlanta Olympic duffel bag this thing I actually have some other stuff in here hold on alright this thing is so sick and hopefully I don't have this is like my natural lighting area in my apartment so this thing, even though there's a couple marks, which I think I can clean up, this thing is so sick. I've seen this on Facebook Marketplace, and that's just a letter. Facebook Marketplace, and people trying to sell uh, Olympic bags like this for like 50 to $60. I paid $2 for this thing, and I was so excited. I found it. You guys can see in the video, I was like, oh my god. Like, I've seen this on... Uh, on Facebook, on eBay, and they sell for a, a lot more than what I paid for it. But honestly, I don't even know if I'm going to sell this. It's so cool. It's super 90s, super retro. The color patch, 
color patching and different colors and it's just super loud and I love it. I really, really love it a lot. Um, I'm going to clean it up a bunch and see what I can do, but it's in pretty decent shape. I give it like a 7 out of 10. It's a little dirty and there's some stuff on the side, but I think it's easily cleanable. So I'm not too worried about it. All the zippers work. Nothing's broken. So it is it is awesome. I love the straps. Atlanta 1996. Like it's just so tough. And actually, a guy in the store because I put it up on I put it up on the shelf, and then I asked them to hold it while I kept looking around. Some guy came over to me and was like, "Can I buy that off of you?" Before I even paid for it, someone wanted to buy it off me, and he's like, "I'll give you ten bucks for it." I'm like, "No chance. I'm selling it." I, honestly, I was like. You could offer me $40 and I wouldn't even sell it to you. So I was like super happy I got it and someone came up to me while I was while I found it and literally wanted it to buy it off me. So that was cool. Great find. I love that bag. I got to post it on my Instagram. If you guys don't follow me, Tort Finds is my Instagram where I like post all my finds on thrifting and estate sales and stuff, yard sales and everything I do. And I post stuff on there, and some, I've sold some stuff from the Instagram. So if you guys want to check it out, you can. If you want to offer on stuff, you can. But I usually just post it because I love posting what I find, honestly. That's, that's just what I do. So The other things, these were cool. I'm not really a baseball fan at all. Um, and I saw these in the estate sale right before we got to this thrift shop. But they wanted like $20 a pop at the estate sale. But they had better figures, like better people. But these are... 1995-96 uh, starting lineup like baseball action figures still boxed up and I thought they were really cool because uh, they're super old. They're vintage. They're still brand new. Like they're in the packaging. Uh, Kenner, which is, this is the company that made like all the vintage Star Wars toys in like the 70s and 80s. So I love seeing that brand. I hate that they wrote on the damn box. Like thrift shops always do that. They write Prices on the, like, it just ruins the value, and I don't know how to get that off without ruining the packaging, so, honestly, I think I gotta keep it on there, but, this said $2, they definitely charge, this is one, so it was one, 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 I paid a dollar a piece for each of these, so three bucks there, I paid two dollars for that, so this is five bucks, I paid for that duffel bag and these three figurines, or action figures, whatever, and then I paid 30 for the jacket, so, all in all, a good day, 35 bucks. I found some awesome stuff. So thank you guys for watching. Like I said, follow me at Tort Finds. That's where I post all my stuff I find at thrift shops, Goodwills, and like yard sales, flea markets, all that stuff. And yeah, so thank you for watching. I'm going to post what I sell this stuff for. I'm gonna Maybe I'll bring this stuff to a local shop and give it to them. Uh, the bag I might be keeping, but I'm definitely selling this jacket. So thank you for watching at Tort Finds uh, on Instagram. And subscribe if you like this video. Comment down below if you saw something in the video that, that I should have picked up. Because I don't know if I missed something there. But thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.